Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to today's Movement Medicine Morsel. We're going to start with some tapping and cupping today, a little bit of shaking as well. We want to get all of our cells in our body enlivened and connected so that every part of us is in one place and uh, feeling alive. So I invite you to start by standing up and find a place where you're comfortable and plant your feet, feel your feet for a moment, admire your feet, smile at them. They have taken us on lots of adventures in our lives. And we'll stretch up to the heavens with a simple arm movement. Inhale the arms up, interlacing the fingers overhead. Turn the palms to the sky and reach. You really want to feel that stretch up to the sky as, the, as well as you're rooting down to the earth. In Qigong, we gather together the heavenly chi, the earthly chi, and the human chi, and we bring those three online together. So releasing the arms, but keeping the height, just float the hands down and soften the knees. I'm going to begin a little bit of shaking. So start a light bounce. We want everything to feel comfortable to move all the joints so the ankles are relaxed, they can bounce, the knees can bounce, the hips can bounce. You can go side to side, get the spine moving a little bit, shoulders up and down, fingers shaking, elbows bouncing, neck moving, head bobbing a little bit. And all of this can be very gentle, very gentle. It's always nice to start gentle. You can always add on a little bit once you feel into your energy. But some days it's just really the right thing to be very, very subtle, but still to loosen everything. Make any sound you want. Whew. Blow off any tension that's accumulated or just open up the pathways. And if you want to shake your arms in different directions, you can be very creative and listen to what your body wants to do. Mm. This can even help if you're having some trouble figuring out the answer to a problem or you have writer's block or something's just kind of stuck. Just step away from that issue for a bit and shake a bit. Put on some music you like that has a good beat shake, blah, 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 loosen everything up, and then return to the issue. You might find that you have a fresh outlook, you've shaken up some of the stuck places and opened up some more channels. Let's let the shaking come to a natural finish, but we're still staying suspended, connecting to the heavenly chi, connecting to the earthly chi. Chi is love, life force energy, support, encouragement, expansion, all good things. So nice to be in touch. And we also see our human form and our experience on the level of those beautiful chi's. We have a chi in our body as well. And what we're looking for is to flow all of them together in a lovely synchronized fashion. So now keeping a little bit loose, we're going to go into some twisting. You can keep your feet on the ground or you can lift up the back heel. That's nicer on knees. If you have cranky knees, I recommend this method. And let the head move smoothly. Ah, and allow this to come to its own natural, natural finish. Now we're going to move into some tapping. I'm going to come a little bit closer. If you want to sit down for the first part of the tapping for the upper body, you can do that, or you can stay standing, but I thought you'll be able to see a little bit better. And what I'd like you to try today is maybe take a glance at um, my suggestions and my physical kinesthetic guidance, but also tune into your own body. So that means you can see, oh, we're tapping the chest. How do I want to tap my chest today? 
And you can even look at the parts of your body that you're tapping and look with love in your eyes, because that also is a way to add energy. So let's begin tall wherever we are, and we will start at the chest. You can even close your eyes, feel into your chest. You're using the pads of the fingers. Your palms are soft. Ah, and let your breath flow as each part of your body awakens through touch and loving attention. Just let yourself send breath and let the energy flow. You don't even have to do anything other than get out of the way. That's the main thing we're doing. And now let's take one hand and go back and forth over the opposite side of the chest, loving our lungs and our chest. And today we're going to go up over the shoulder and cup that muscle meat there, even the side of the neck. You can bend your head away. You can even boost your hand to get a little further over. Mm. And then we're coming down the outside of that shoulder. You can gaze at the outside of the arm and sending a little message of love, connection, gratitude. Sometimes we don't think about our body or parts of our body at all. So here's an opportunity to say hello. Good morning if it's morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you're, wherever you are. Coming down over the fingernails, clapping the hands after you've come over the back of the hand and the same arm. And we're going to come up the inside of the arm lovingly, lovingly. When we approach the armpit, we want to make space so that we can cup up and down through the armpit and side chest region. Here's a great place to guide your breath. Mm, breathing into the side, the outside of this set of lungs. Stimulating the lymph in the armpit and very gently relax. Either sit tall or stand tall quietly and take a moment to listen and feel. Be aware of your breath. Allow your breath to flow. Let your breath be pleasant. You're not forcing it or bullying it to fit a certain uh, pattern. You're really opening the doors of your heart, of your loving kindness to your own self and allowing your breath to do what it naturally wants to do. And notice if there is any tingling or how you feel related to one side or the other. And hopefully we're waking up little by little. So now we'll come back to tapping at the chest. And we're going to go to the other side. So cupping back and forth, appreciating our lungs, Guiding our breath into the place that we're cupping. And then coming over the shoulder. You can see I can reach about this far, but if I take my hand and boost that elbow, look at that. So pro tip, little, little tip, do whatever works. As long as you're not hurting yourself or any other being, be creative, be creative. There aren't black and white rules. There are guidelines. There are guidelines. And then coming over the shoulder and the outside of the arm. And remember, you can take a look away from the screen and look at your own body. Let your eyes add to the energy of the cupping and the connecting, the remembering. Backs of the fingers. And then coming into the palms, nice clapping. Coming up the inside of the arm. And when you get up towards the armpit area, you can drape that arm or you can hold the back of your head up to you, whatever feels nicest for you. And breathe into the side that you're expanding. So sending the breath inside and filling this area from inside to match the stretch on the outside. Mm, loving your armpit. Good to practice loving the armpit. If you listen to advertisers, they might make you think that you should despise your armpits, but armpits are fantastic. Sweat is very crucial and healthy and cleansing. And we certainly want our lymph to flow. We don't want our lymph to stagnate. That's like having a garbage strike in the summer and things build up. So we want to keep everything flowing. When things are flowing, 
we're healthy. We can digest, assimilate, and eliminate what's not needed. Okay, just feel into that. And if you've got glasses on, slip them off. We'll do just a little bit around the face. We'll come lightly tapping up and down the throat, lifting the chin. So you're creating space at the throat and smiling and loving your throat and letting the breath really expand inside the channel of your throat and coming up the sides of the neck. When you get to the ears, you can tap index finger behind the ear, middle finger in front of the ear. And then over the shoulders and coming up the back of the neck into the base of the skull and across the base of the skull a couple of times. So today we're just doing short tapping. Even a little bit is better than none, way better than none. And a little bit is enough to wake things up. So now we're going to tap around the chewing muscles of the jaw. And I recommend yawning Woo! and making silly faces, just slow stretching. Opening the eyes, squeezing them shut. Ah. And now following the contour of the cheeks, just underneath, and we're tapping slightly upwards, and then we're coming up the sides of the nose, right up to the bridge of the nose between the eyes and eyebrows. Brows. And we'll do that a couple of times. And then shake out the hands, one brief rest of the arms before we continue. We are going to the temples now, lightly tapping at the temples, checking that the mouth and jaw are soft. Oh, letting any spontaneous sound or yawning happen. Don't hold back on natural expressions of the body. And then tapping around the eye socket from the outer corner, lightly under the eyes. You can even close your eyes. Coming up the bridge of the nose and tapping out along the eyebrow bone. And then tapping at the third eye, first tapping in, aiming the tapping gently into the skull, and then tapping with a slight sweeping swish to clear any cobwebs, cobwebs that get in the way of intuition, creative um, thinking that really expands our possibilities. We want all the expansion and the freedom. And then coming up all the way around the scalp, just free form all the way around, coming into the temples, get behind those ears. Mm. Get rid of any cobwebs inside that brain. And then shake that out, shake that out. And we're going to clear the energy by cupping the hands and brushing the hands up over the chest, throat, face, on the inhale, over the crown of the head, and exhale, just pouring off any of that residue. You can either touch your skin very lightly or you can be just skimming in the energy system just outside. You'll feel the energy anyways. And one more time, inhale and release, release and give it that a good shake, a good shake, a good shake. And now you can continue seated or you can stand up. I'm gonna to choose to stand because it's nice to alternate but there are always good reasons to sit and whether you're sitting or standing once again we come to connecting to heaven connecting to the earth letting the knees soften so the joints are elongated but they're not locked so we want that ability we could go in any direction we're in a state of readiness readiness so now we're going to cup the chest with uh, rounded hands and make some sound, open up the lungs and your voice. Oh, or when I was uh, teaching seniors before the uh, closure of the retirement home, we would do wolf sounds. They loved it. Get that throat, that jaw going up and down. That always feels good. Okay. And then cupping the chest, the breast area, men or women, anybody can benefit from cupping this area. And coming into the abdominal region, just all over. You can take longer with this when you have time, but we're doing a short and sweet version. So just cover everything. And today, come around the front and the back as though we're drawing rings 
rings around. So front coming into the back, back around a little bit lower, cupping into the front. So we bring a little bit more awareness to the fact that we don't just have a front, we have a back that's very important. And it's all connected. Ah, coming down a little lower, coming all the way around, kind of like a tube. And then coming into the low belly and around into the buttock area, the sacrum, groin area, pressing the hips forward just a little bit. Buttocks, here you can even take your, make loose fists. And we'll come down with loose fists or cupping hands down the outsides of the legs. As far as you can comfortably reach, you can always do the rest with your imagination. In fact, I want you to try an experiment. Stop somewhere just above the knees and really focus, gently focus. Keep cupping in the air, but imagine that you're going down the legs and you're making your way down the outsides of the shins, down the outsides of the ankles, and down to the feet. Anybody feel that? That you actually can feel energy moving down? If you don't yet, keep practicing because it comes in very handy for those times you might not be able to reach. So now if you can reach and want to do it this way, please do so, or keep practicing the skill of learning how to move energy with your mind. You're paddling your hands and you're imagining energy hands going down further. Come around the outsides of your ankles and outsides of your arches over the tops of your feet and your toes in either of the methods that I've mentioned. Coming up the insides of the arches, insides of the ankles. Coming up and then if you've been using your energy hands you just connect in smoothly to your hand hands when you reach the place where it's comfortable to do so. And very gently coming around the navel, we're slowing it down, and coming around the back, a little bit at the kidneys, we'll go gently at the kidneys today, make a soft sound here today. Finish that by a little bit of rubbing up and down to create some warmth and comfort. And then rest the palms of your hands or the backs of your hands over that kidney zone. And you don't have to be precise. You go where you feel that it's the right place. And also you go to where your body allows you to go. The kidneys are a little bit up just under the base of the back ribs. But if that's uncomfortable, you can have your hands a little bit lower where it is comfortable. And as we learned with moving energy through the mind, you're still breathing into your kidneys. Great. Okay, inhaling. Direct the breath with your gentle concentration and loving kindness into the back of your body. So the breath is coming in through your nose, filling your lungs, and you're directing some into the area that your hands are holding. And as you're filling your breath, feel how connected your feet are to the chi, the energy, the abundance of the earth element. Feel how lifted and connected you are to the chi, the energy, the love of the sky. And feel how loving kindness and breath are flowing through every part of your body. We've pretty much shaken, tapped, cupped every part of ourselves inside and out. And see if you can feel your whole body all at once. And your breath is like the thread that's knitting everything together. That and your intention of loving kindness and willingness. Now we're going to do a little flow, sliding the hands around. First, we're going to cup the hands, hold the hands over the belly and feel the breath settling in the belly. So putting your hands on your belly anytime during the day, if you feel that you're getting a little too thinky, the mind's getting a little 
spinning off or you feel a little ungrounded, the energy we can say is going up and it makes you a little top heavy and wobbly. So just draw your energy down with your touch, with your mind, and bring it into a nice foundational place in your low belly. And now float the hands forward a little bit and cup the hands as though you're holding a small ball and the elbows are a little bit lifted and the knees are bent. And on the inhalation, we're going to open the arms a little bit and straighten the knees, taking our full human form. Exhaling, we're going to softly bow whatever amount we want coming to the earth and scooping some beautiful earth energy with our hands. As we inhale, we're bringing the earth energy through our body, rotating the hands over. And by the time we finish the inhale, the palms are facing up and we're taking in the sky. And then exhale, we paint a huge circle of shining light all the way around us, our whole body. Next inhalation, we expand. We take our noble human form, the best that we are. Exhale, we start to acknowledge the earth and we gather and we thank her for her beautiful energy. And we bring that energy up through the channels of our body, finally rotating the hands and touching the sky, inhaling the sky. And now exhaling, we paint that energy of earth and sky all the way around us like a beautiful full auric field. Joining earth, human and sky. One more. Inhale, really fill yourself with breath. Feel your fullness. Exhale, acknowledging the earth and gathering what she's offering. Inhale, bring that supportive, nurturing energy all the way up through you, touching the sky. And exhale, painting all of that accumulated energy around, like a beautiful halo or bubble of healing light. You're creating a healthy chi field that protects you, that supports your immunity. And we will gather all of that chi, bring the feet a little closer together if you wish, and let the folded hands settle on the low belly. See yourself standing at your most radiant, beautiful height. Imagine that your body has energy that goes beyond the top of the head, beyond the soles of the feet, beyond the sides, beyond the front and the back. So you actually start to feel your true energy field. You may not have thought about it before, but it's always there. When we're sick or unhappy, it shrinks. And when we're robust and resilient, it has a lovely glow. It's like an aura. Think about creating an aura. We'll actually do one more of the, the flows. So collecting the energy and collecting your concentration, knees are bent. Let the inhalation expand your body and your aura into your fullness. Exhale and softly, humbly bow to the earth in gratitude and gathering more resources that are so freely given. Inhale, circulate those resources through you and touch the heavens. And exhale, paint the beautiful inspiration of the heavens and the nourishment of the earth all the way around you, creating a resilient, beautiful aura. And complete this by drawing in so that you are taking this goodness inside. So all of your cells of your physical and spiritual body, your mental, emotional body are drinking in. And take a few breaths in this state, letting this beautiful healing energy circulate, infusing you with vitality, relaxing and clearing out any stagnation, and reminding you and all of us and me that there is abundant energy available in the heavens and in the earth that is freely available for us to boost our own chronic 
and chi fields and our vitality. And with this, I send you many blessings. I hope that you'll return again for another day. There will be another session tomorrow. And I have a playlist up on uh, YouTube and I'll include that in the comments box if any of you want to have that as a resource. At, uh, every day there's another one being added. So I think I'm up to about 58 different little movement medicine morsels that you can enjoy, mix and match. Many blessings, have the most beautiful day.